Welcome back guys. In this video, let's talk about the cross page elasticity of demand. What is it and why is it important? Actually, when it comes to the labor market, the level of employment of a specific type of labor is not only considered by its own wage rate, but it's rather considered by the price level of other inputs of that we need to produce a, a specific type of output in the market. That's why when we think about the level of employment of a specific type of labor in the labor market, we need to know the wage level of other types of labor or input and also the price of other inputs. So that's why we need to know the cross wage elasticity of demand in order to know the like uh, specific amount of employment level of a specific type of labor in the market. So what is cross-wage elasticity of demand and how we can find it? The cross-wage elasticity of demand says that when a wage rate of another type of input or when the price of another type of input changes, what will be the effect of change in the price of other input on the employment level of the considered type of labor for example if the wage rate of production officer changes what will be the effect of the change in wage rate of production officer on the employment level of marketing officers within the company or what will be the effect of changes in the wage level of a sales officer on the employment level of a marketing research officer. So in this case, we need to know the cross wage elasticity of demand. Or another case, when the price of capital changes, or when the price of technology, raw material, natural resources will changes, what will be the effect of change on, in, in these prices on the employment level of a specific type of labor? So in this case, we need to know the cross-wage elasticity of demand. In terms of mathematical formula, the cross-wage elasticity will be like this formula, which is equal to the percentage change in the demand of one input, for example, one specific type of labor, divided by the percentage change in the price of another input. For example, if again we show the wage elasticity with eta, Greek letter of eta, it says that elasticity of input J with respect to the wage level or price level of input K is equal to the percentage change in the employment level of input J divided by the percentage change in the wage level or price level of input K. Or in another case, if we know the cross, if we wanted to know the cross wage elasticity of input K with respect to J, then eta KJ, it means the wage elasticity of, or the elasticity of input K with respect to the wage level of input J is equal to the percentage change employment level of input K divided by the percentage change in the wage level of input J. Now we need to consider two conditions, first and second. First, if the cross wage elasticity of input J with respect to wage level of input K or the cross wage elasticity of input K with respect to wage level of input J is greater than zero, it means input J and input K K or gross substitute. Input J and input K or gross substitute. For example, if the input J, if the input J is sales officer and the input K is marketing research officer, marketing research officers, so marketing research officers and sales officers, they can be substitute. For example, a person who is doing the job or the task of sales officer, he can do also the job or the task of marketing research officer also because they are closely related to each other. 
the scale you, you need for the marketing research, you need for the sales officer as well. Maybe you can do both at the same time. That's why now when the wage level of, for example, when the wage level of marketing research officer in the labor market increases, then the labor demand or the demand or the marketing research officer would decrease because the wage rate increased. But rather the employment level of the sales officer would increase because now we hire more sales officer to do at the same time a sales job and also marketing research job. So they are gross substitute. But in another case, when the ETA JK or the elasticity of input J with respect to the price level of the wage level of input K or the elasticity of input K with respect to the price level of or wage level of input J is less than zero, it means input J and K are gross complement. We need to use both of them together. For example, again in another case, if J is production officer and K is sales officer, they are complement. At the same time, we need both of them in the company to produce output and to sales output in the market. To produce output, we need production officer. To sales output, we need sales officer. They cannot be substitute, but rather we need both of them together in the company. So that's why, for example, when the wage level of sales officer in the labor market increases, then the labor demand for the sales officer decrease. When the sales officer, when the labor demand for the sales officer decrease, when we don't have enough sales officer to sell our product or of our final output to the market, so now we don't need to produce much. Then what will happen? The employment level of input J, which is production officer, would decrease. Why? Because when the employment level of sales officer decrease in the market, so now the sales amount would decrease. When the sales amount would decrease, we need to reduce the level of production. When we, need, when we reduce the level of production or in another queue or final output, then we need to reduce the employment level of input J or the production officer. Because we don't need to produce a lot. Because we, we don't have enough sales officer to sell those products in the market. So that's why we need to know cross wage elasticity of demand. This is a brief explanation about the cross wage elasticity of demand. In the next video, we will go through a practical example about the cross wage elasticity of demand. To know in the real world, by using real world data, how the cross wage elasticity of demand for a specific type of labor may help companies and firms to set their optimal level of labor demand in the market. I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe my YouTube channel, like the videos and share your comments and ideas for in order to make and produce better video for the future. See you next time.